So hello and welcome along today to Eclipse Motorcycles with Red Bomb. Just first ride on this today, the new LXR, this is the SE 380cc. Mental piece of equipment this is, absolutely fantastic looking bike. Now as you can tell, looks exactly the same as the other LXRs but this one has the 380cc engine on this. It's got a wheelbase on this one of about 14 20 mil on this one height on it's 11.55 um, and obviously 192 kilos slightly heavier bike on this one and 357 kilos with the laden mass on this one uh, average of about 80 miles to the gallon on this one 40.2 kilowatts uh, 40.2 horsepower should I say or 30 kilowatt and just looking around it what an amazing motorcycle so we're just going to uh, take this one out give it a run and obviously once you step into the seat it's a totally different seating position to the other LXRs a very very deep seat on this one so really hugs you round the back end uh, this one does have six speed box on this one it's got uh, twin discs at the front and that single rear disc once again it's a dual braking bike And from the off, you can just hear the grunt of that engine. Now obviously, this, as I normally say, this is a brand new bike. So uh, this is going to be first ride on this one. Just to take it nice and steady. And I believe this is going to be the first ever road test of the LXR. Now today, it's a nice crisp day today. Roads are slightly damp, but it's dry, so there's no actual rain coming down. But looking down, once again you've got that nice big display, nice big rev counter in front of you, speedometer, and obviously for the purposes of ride testing this one hasn't had its mirrors fitted yet, so it does come with mirrors. And just pulling from the off very low torque, put the power on and away it goes. Now obviously once these have been run in and you do your standard uh, Lexmoto running procedure over the 1500k, once this has been run in it's going to be a flyer and uh, obviously we will do a further ride test on this one but uh, just looking down it's a lovely seating position on this, legs are very very forward on the bike so it's a nice tucked in position for those knees under the tank nice easy placement again of all those controls and just you can just hear the grunt of that engine as well nice sound from that exhaust for a 380 it does have a very good sound now obviously this is aimed at those people that uh, want to do their A2 license, step up to something uh, a little bit bigger. And this would be the ideal machine. Now obviously these machines are built for longevity, not for hammering around loads and loads of speed out of them. And then just push it out that corner, push it through the gearbox, it picks up very very quick and especially with that six speed box just sit it very comfortably at 40 mile an hour because obviously for the purposes of running in but it's a very smooth gearbox it's not clunky as you would expect from some bikes so it's a very very smooth response through that gearbox throttle control is very very good the dual braking on this is lovely especially with those big discs up the front end that single disc to the rear as well and of course this one with all the LXRs they come with a stainless can on the back so you haven't got to worry about uh, exhaust pipes rotting away like you find on other bikes and then just feeding it through just to look at the handling this does feed very well once again through roundabouts it does lean exceptionally well 
So we're just going to do my normal ride circuit. And tell you a little bit about the Lexmoto range. Now obviously when they first brought out the LXR in the 125 version, the sales went through the roof and uh, there was a lot of riders that said, can we have a bigger version? Now Lexmoto predominantly do the 50ccs and the 125s, but they are now aiming at the bigger market. And with the Vendetta 250 coming out as well, and now the 380, it just makes you wonder what Lexmoto have up their pocket for next year. This is going to be one of the big sellers, the LXR 380. I mean, just pulling through that box, straight up into six gear. That is gorgeous. Now, obviously, for the purpose, because I've got no mirrors, a couple of quick shoulder checks on this ride. And just rev matching down. Lovely sound from that engine. And then just pushing it around this roundabout, you can just see the lean angle coming through even in wet roads. And then onto the throttle again. And now with this one big handful of front brake and a little bit of dual brake to the rear. And as you can see, it does pull down very, very quickly. As you can tell, it's got that rumble to it that you'd expect from something a little bit bigger. And from the off, definitely beating the flow of traffic that is behind me. So it's very quick off the mark. Now considering this is only 40.2 uh, horsepower, 30 kilowatts, it's not going to be the fastest bike in the world but it's comfortable. It's going to be reliable if you're into the sports market and you fancy something a little bit that is going to be a bit of a looker. The 38 is the one to go for. Very responsive off that throttle. And once again I've got my knees nicely tucked in for that seat. It's exceptionally comfortable compared to the 125. It actually feels like you're uh, you're seated on a bigger bike. You know, I'd said this felt more like a, a sort of 5-600cc. And then once again, pushing it through the corners onto the throttle and the growl of that engine. We've literally put 2.9 miles on the bike now. So. Coming down through the box, that the rev match sounds very, very good. going to have a quick hop down the dual carriageway my normal ride circuit and as always I normally uh, give all my bikes a rating miles per gallon and economy it's going to be a 9 out of 10 on this one Seating-wise, comfort, 
very, very comfortable. I'm highly surprised with the seat on this one, so I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Reliability. Well, you've got the uh, two-year warranty with it. You've got the uh, year's recovery. And you've got a network of Lexmoto dealers, so 10 out of 10. You're not going to get that from uh, other companies. They're definitely 10 out of 10 for looking after their customers with Lexmoto. Functionality, rideability, it's a sports bike. If you happen to like sports bikes then you're, you're going to get an 8 out of 10 from me as a sports bike rider. You know, you are seated quite forward on the bike, but that is what I like. So if you're into a sports bike feel, this is the bike to go for. For actual price on the bike, and considering this is uh, probably half the price that you would pay for an equivalent 380 in another car company, in another bike company, then yeah, I'm going to give this eight out, eight to nine out of ten. You know, you're not going to top the price, and then you're going to get some that are going to say on this feed, oh, but it's a Chinese bike. Well, if you consider now that most of the bikes are made in China. Even some of the Honda parts are made in China now. As they stated on the blog the other week, you know, oh, I don't want to buy a Chinese import, I wouldn't trust a Chinese import with a barge pole. Why? Have you ridden one? No, it's just what my friends told me. Exactly. So, uh, don't knock something until you've tried it. And if you do look at the other bike bloggers that uh, do go on YouTube, then you'll know that he predominantly rides Chinese bikes. And uh, all that, he does own a couple of big bikes, but he owns the Chinese bikes as well. And he's never had an issue with them, so if you maintain it, you look after it, you service it, then you're going to have oodles of fun on one of these. And we're 4.9 miles in, and I'm absolutely loving this bike. It is glorious ride. The seating, the comfort, the actual hand positions. I'm not. I've not got aching wrists like I do with uh, some of my bikes after I've done about four miles. They do tend to fail over on tank. This one is a very, very over the tank. But you're still seated a little a bit more upright than you would with some of the big sports bikes. And the comfort is very, very good horsepower on it's good for a 380 but that instrumentation you know you've not quick glance down you're not trying to oh where's my needle pointing to Lexmoto have really got it spot on with this motorcycle and there we go straight over a pothole and that's it didn't even jar me the suspension on this is very very active you've got the inverted forks on this one you've got that glorious alloy swing arm to the rear as well with that big monoshock. And this one does have ABS as well, so no worries about locking up the uh, brakes on this one. So it does have ABS on it. And then once again, nice big pothole and you can see it just it just soaks it up so we'll get this one run in and we shall uh, be giving it a full test to see exactly the top speed we can get out of this motorcycle but one final look around this machine nice little side stand peg very easy to get to and there she is the LXR 380 and it's red, white and black livery. Some nice big daytime running lights to the front and that as well. And those big old four pot discs, or dual pot discs can I say to the front. Nice big set of disc brakes on that. And just have a look at the one on the back of that as well, so. Got your single pot to the rear. That big alloy swing arm. 
even down to the uh, the rubber on this one that's got some amazing rubber to the back of that so if you wanted to see this bike you're interested in it you want to purchase it is available we've got one in now at Eclipse Motorcycles so pop down give the guys a call 01908 643 603 that's the LXR SE from Lexmoto and you've been riding with the Rev Bomb.